Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video, LeBron James, JJ Reddick podcast, very insightful podcast. I really love to listen to what they have to say. And LeBron James is going to tell us who are the MVPs, who are the unsung heroes of the 2024 20, NBA playoffs. So we'll see what his opinion on that is. For more content like this, these reaction videos, make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe more to 1000. We are within 100. So let's get to that. Get to this video. Let's see what LeBron got to say. Going into those guys that Bronny mentioned, um, you talked about uh, players that impact winning. Yeah. And I think that's a great segue yep. to get into the playoffs. Yeah, man. And Talk the conference finals are set. We've got four teams, and there's some similarities between all four teams, yep. but I think all four teams have their own specific identity. Yeah. You know, one of the things when I think about all four of these teams is they have a bunch of guys that star in their roles beyond the stars of the team. Yep. There's buy-in. Let's see. Um, Dallas Mavericks, Derek Lively, Jay Washington. You got the the Gafford. Was it Daniel Gafford? I don't know if I got his name right. I'm going to say those three. For the Boston Celtics, you got Derek White, Drew Holiday. I'm going to say those. Uh, for the Pacers, TJ McConnell with Nimhart, Nimhart. And for the Cel no, I said Celtics. For the Timberwolves, Jaden McDaniels, Keel Alexander Walker. Yeah, everyone has those. Like They're not stars, but they definitely are stars in their roles. So that's definitely what you need to win. You need to understand your role and you need to be a star in it. That's the best way to win. So, Yep. Across the board to what guys' roles are. And... I think in the regular season, whether it's because people are distracted, uh, the viewership is different, uh, we all, everybody wants to talk about is who is in the MVP discussion, all of that. It's not till the playoffs that we fully get to appreciate yep. guys like Nas Reed, yep. guys like Nas TJ Reed. McConnell, yep. Yep. the Derek Whites of the world, yep. PJ Washington, Jay Daniel McDaniels. Gafford. Yep. Jaden McDaniels, yeah, of course. Right. Yep. And it's to me, this playoff run for a, like across the league, does it feel like to you the role players are almost having more impact than normal? I mean, I know there's always Derek been White there, playing better than Jason Tatum. It feels like when we talk about, I don't know about anymore, but that, about was, like, that was something your happened. star's got to win a yeah, couple yeah, games, yeah, yeah. you, 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 you got to gut through a game, maybe your coach gets you a game, your role players win you yeah. a game. It feels like the role players night to night have just been incredibly consistent. No, you're absolutely right, JJ. I mean, you you look at last, last night's game seven in Denver, you know, we, we talk about how spectacular Ant-Man has been this whole postseason. Last night, he goes six for 24 from the field. I mean, at, I think at halftime, he had maybe two or four points, you know, and in that fourth quarter, you saw Nas Reed. You, you really saw, obviously, I mean, obviously Rudy is, is kind of a star player, but Rudy making plays, um, and Nikhil Alexander-Walker, and Jaden McDaniels was just, I mean, he's been huge all season, but you see it even more in the postseason. But Nas Reed last night, you know, from, you know, the Euro step he had left right on, show, on, show it to on, me. on the Joker, uh, get fouled That's how I knew they were going to win. Rebound. Right then I knew he they were going to win. dunk from the corner. You know, he had a big-time block shot on uh, Joker all that. late in that game as well. Like, he was huge, and then... He pushed it in transition. They was up seven and hit Ant-Man for a corner three opposite of their bench. You know, that came off Nas Reed. You know, so, like, you're absolutely right. The the role players right now with these four teams that's left are making all the plays. You saw P.J. Washington. seemed like every time P.J. Washington got into Man, foul balling, boy. in that Dallas versus OKC series, he was balling, but OKC kind of had a little advantage, you know? And when he was on the floor, the advantage was gone, you know, because P.J. Hey. You leave Charlotte, a lot of good things happen when you leave the Charlotte Hornets. Uh, Nas Reed is like my favorite role player, bro. He's been playing so well. As a, I don't, I forgot who was a six man last year, but he's one of the better six men. I feel like his six man aura has pushed more for me in the postseason. But he's one of the better six men that I've seen in a while. Just like so impactful that he could on, honestly just be a starter. He's one of the better ones, man. I I don't remember too many of them. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of a, it's an award that is easy to forget. But, yeah, he's been balling. Hey, Washington was there, made the timely threes, obviously, in game he's six at six home. He's not a six-man, just for scoring. Made the timely he, stops. He does he a lot of other things. for him. So, you know, and obviously T.J. McConnell, he's just a, a, a you know, he's a, a coach's dream. To a very be annoying to a guy player. like that that comes <laughs> in, knows exactly what he's doing, puts the tempo. He's always going to be high in the turn ratio. You want to play with him, but not against him. You know, and he's just a dog. So, 
You you are absolutely <laughs> right, man. Um, you, this 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 postseason is great in as much. Obviously, we know the narrative is always going to go to the star guys, but to be honest, these games have been won by the MVPs of the role players. Yeah, uh, to, great to analysis. That point, last night's a great example in Game Seven. There were games earlier in uh, the Knicks run yeah. where Jalen Brunson didn't have a good shooting night right. and they won. Uh, yeah, Josh Hart. Luka has not Dante been at his Vicento. best outside of a couple games, right, right. and they've won. Right. Uh, they've won games in that OKC series without Kyrie right. having a monster performance. And, and I, I'm, I don't know what I'm trying to get at, but I, it feels like, and it it feels like, and we'll, we'll get to some of the parody stuff in a second, but it just feels like the depth of talent right now, particularly on really good teams. Like, you can't concentrate. You need seven, eight guys that can really play in high-pressure moments and have the, you called it a dog, I'll, I'll say it, the, the, the toughness, yep. the, the mental fortitude yep. um, to compete at this level. Yep. And it feels like across the board in the NBA, we're, we're getting more and more of these guys that are just, they're fucking good players, man. You, you, they're ab- good players. Absolutely right. And, and, and they yep. are starring in their roles and they're not doing nothing outside of what they what they do. And this is what this postseason has been about, and that's what this top four is all about. These top four teams, Indiana, Boston, um, you know, Dallas, and Minnesota, have a bunch of guys who star and they roll, and they do it every single night. Eastern Conference and they, is a Mickey are, Mouse they clubhouse. They do, but and they did, hey, if there's any, if there's teams out there looking to see how to be successful, obviously you got to have star. you got to have one, one, possibly two. You know, that's going to, you know, going to make sure that everybody stays even killed. But at the end of the day, you got to have those soldiers around, man. You got to have, you know, the concierges and the and the compos and the rest of those guys that's going to be ready. LeBron, to go, LeBron man. speaking about his own that's team. That's what we see at the Final Four right now in the NBA. Hey, guys. Le- LeBron speaking about his own team right now. He need more. He need more of those stars for himself. Um, yeah, definitely. There's hierarchy on your team. So you have a star and you have a sidekick who should hopefully also be a star. That's what you want. You want two. Three things get complicated. You want two. After that, you want to, yeah, you want to have dogs. You want to have guys that high level role players. They don't have to be stars, but they need to be stars at their roles. That's the key, you know. And those teams, Minnesota and Dallas and Boston, had that in spades and Indiana to an extent as well. But yeah, they're definitely a very insightful podcast. I love reacting to these. So hey, for more content like this, make sure to like this video. Roll to 1,000 subscribers. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. And hey, I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. And I'm out of here. Peace.